I had a gift card giveaway in my midterm video. I haven't announced, and it was because I've been all over this. So, uh, the person that won the gift card is Anya. Oh, yay, Anya. So, I will message you. Um, I'll comment down below. Thank you, Anya, and congrats. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this series is actually following my fitness journey slash weight loss journey and um, I appreciate you checking in. But this weigh-in, um, this is covering October and it didn't really go the way I thought it did and like I think there's a lot of factors but this is definitely the way in that I've been most disappointed with I would have honestly thought that by now I would have lost weight and like the truth is is that I've gained weight and I've been um you know I've been recording my journey for most of the year like I think this is my ninth or tenth um weigh in and yeah no I'm I'm like kind of discouraged, kind of disappointed in myself. Like I know there's a lot of factors, but still. But I have a new like accountability buddy at school. Her name's Nikki, shout out to Nikki. And you know, she's really, really sweet and helpful. So Nikki and I have been weighing ourselves every single Monday. And sadly, every Monday I gain more weight. So I don't know, I, uh, it's such a weird situation. But anyways, I think the three factors are that I kind of became really, really flexible with things. Like, I felt like, oh, I could just eyeball it. Like, eyeball how much I'm eating. Eyeball it with the dressing. And kind of, like, that I didn't really have to keep track of what I was eating. Like, with fitness power or whatnot. And I've just been eating more, I guess. Like, more than I, I thought I was. And I'm definitely eating more sweets. So throughout October, there was a lot of bake sales at school. And I'm not saying that's an excuse. But I wanted to support. And I could have just donated the money. But uh, I just, I have such a hard time saying no. So I definitely need to, like, figure out a way to distance myself from, like, basically, it's like, it's like pastries and, like, baked goods that are my biggest, biggest issue. Like, bread is... The hardest thing and the last one is definitely the lack of exercise so i guess it's like there's one more um because i'm in school i am stressed um i don't i don't usually i feel like i don't show it as much and i feel like i don't i don't sense that i'm stressed but clearly i am like there there has to be some stress contributing to this whole situation um and you can't lose as much weight when you're stressed, but honestly, like, I need to work on ways to de-stress, and one of those ways was working out, which is my last factor of why I think I'm continuously gaining weight, um, is because I'm not really going to the gym as much, and I'm so hard on myself when I, um, when I don't go to the gym, and, like, so in my head, I was like, I have to go to the gym every single day, like, I need to be active every single day, but there's ways of being active that don't require you to go to the gym, like, I could walk for 20, 30 minutes, and that's some activity activity for the day but I'm really hard on myself when I don't go and I think that like causes like a really toxic cycle that makes me go even less throughout the week I think I need to find a good balance maybe go three times during the week and try to go during the weekend but you know we're human we have lives we have things to do so I think for me I really need to go back to the basics because I think I've kind of lost my way I guess like I know what I have to do but I haven't been doing it and I had um uh this last week I sat down with this girl who I usually never sit with at school and she she I guess she saw me um open up my channel and she asked me like what kind of videos I did and I explained a little bit and when I talked about my weight loss journey she she asked so what are you doing to lose weight and I froze I didn't really know what to say how do you not, how are you on a fitness journey but not know how you're going through that journey? Like, that doesn't make sense. It was kind of like an eye-opening experience for me. I just, I couldn't believe, I couldn't tell her like, oh, I'm on a calorie deficit or, um, you know, I'm working out X, Y, and Z or I'm doing this. No, like, I froze and, and I was honest and I was like, honestly, like, it hasn't been going as well as I thought, um, but I think I need to, like, sit down and give myself some time and space to really focus on that 
Um, now, having said that, I feel like in the last month or two, I've definitely um, been nicer to myself in the sense that I've definitely never invested much in clothes, especially jeans, because I've always been like, oh, well, I'm going to lose weight. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't need the nice jeans right now. But I had a, tr I've, I had a talk with my really good friend, Nibi. And she told me, she's like, no, you need nice jeans. Like, it changes things. And so last month I did buy two. And I really did enjoy them. So I wanted to try Torrid. Um, I went this, I, I bought two pairs. Um, one of them is their new version. The, I think, Sexy Bomb or Super Bomb. I don't know what it's called. I will put them up here. But um, they are so comfy. And one of them, like the band stretches. And they were pricey. Like, don't get me wrong. They were pricey. But I deserve to invest in in some clothing items that fit me well and that I feel comfortable with. And all right. So my vanity impression scale says 220. Um, that is not right. Um, it says... The reason I'm saying it's not right, it's not right, is because I went to the doctor and I actually was 21 pounds and eight ounces there, and that is the heaviest I've ever been. Like even this 220 is the heaviest I've ever been. But as you can see, it says for water it's 43 percent, muscle 25, bone density 6.4, and then body fat is 46.6. Um, now the body fat seems a little lower. It's a frustrating situation. I don't know if you guys have tips or any any advice for me, but I, you know, I'm a happy person as it is. And I've been feeling kind of down about it because, for example, the other day I, like, had a speed walk to the bus. And mind you, I wasn't, I wasn't walking that fast. Like, I have short legs. Like, I, you know really can't walk that fast i was breathing really 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 hard like it was it was sad it was very upsetting very very upsetting and sometimes i'm embarrassed on the bar if i have to run towards the bar not the bar i'm sorry the cow train you know i'm breathing really hard and there's people next to me and to me that's embarrassing like i don't want to be breathing panting that hard next to people i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of like I've been gaining weight in like around my stomach and the back of of um you know like back long house or whatever. So as you can see, it it's really dark pink. Like where like you can t you can tell their newer stretch marks because they're darker. They're darker, and I have been itching, and it's like definitely a lot more in my back. Um, I didn't have that much back fat. Um, I, I just feel like I didn't, and I'm I don't think it's really going to my face, but it's going to my stomach, and it's just kind of, kind of like hanging over a little bit more. I don't know. This is weird. Like this is weird because I feel like every time I weigh myself, and even if I've gained a little bit, like I have good news for you guys. Like you know, I'm. I'm I may be like staying or like it was one or two pounds, but this time, I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling too proud. Like it's hard. It's hard. And I think I know losing weight is hard and it's going to be a process. And it took me, you know, five, five years. Yeah. It took me four and a half, five years to gain all this weight. And you know, it's almost six years now and I'm still gaining weight. And I know it's going to be a process for me to lose this weight. But right now, like right now, it feels like I haven't done anything. And it feels, it's a very disappointing situation. I don't know. I wish, I wish I had something else to share. But it's, it's just not, it's just not, I'm just not where I want to be. Like I honestly... I feel heavy and I feel so out of shape and just disappointed in myself because I've done so many amazing things in this life and I, I know I still have a lot to do and it's like this one thing, why can't I get it under control? So, you know, I don't think about it every day, but I've been thinking about how I'm mad at myself or upset, disappointed enough that 
I don't want to feel like that anymore. So I just, I think I'm going to dial back and go back to the basics. Hopefully next month that this check-in will go a lot better. But I do appreciate you watching and, you know, being here in this journey with me. Anyways, I hope you have a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.